Although the Japanese faced certain defeat, their refusal to re surrender led the United States to drop what would change the world forever, the atomic bomb. The war against Japan in the Pacific Ocean continued after the war in Europe was over against the Germans. The United States had been working on the technology, uh, nuclear technology of the atomic bomb underneath the title The Manhattan Project. President FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, is going to die in mid-April. His vice president, Harry S. Truman, then will be responsible for the decision to drop the atomic bomb. Harry Truman was unaware of the bomb's existence weeks before it was dropped. The Allied countries met in Potsdam, Germany. It was here at the Potsdam Conference that they issued the Potsdam Declaration that asked the Japanese to surrender or face certain destruction. So, the decision is, do we sacrifice uh, the Japanese in order to save the United States in a, in a war? And the decision is made, and on August 6th, 1945, the first atomic bomb is dropped in Hiroshima. Three days later, on August 9th, the second bomb is dropped in Nagasaki. On September 2nd, 1945, aboard the USS Missouri, the Japanese signed an official surrender to the United States. Many debate the use of the atomic bomb. Do we prevent the loss of American lives but create a number of losses in the Japanese mainland? It would likely lead to the surrender of the Japanese, but it would then have major environmental effects that continue until today.